Hi, welcome to activity number two in our course on C Sharp and web development. So what are we going to do in activity two? Well, we're going to work with more controllers and views. We're going to modify them, make custom versions of them, and we're going to be looking at the Razor syntax. So Razor is a language, you might say, a blend of C Sharp and HTML. And so this blend is natural. The C Sharp usually displays contents of objects and variables, handles things like for loops and while loops and if and then conditions. Now the HTML is what you'd expect it to be. It's going to be performing like the uh, elements on the page, such as data input or labels or headlines or things like that. And so the two blend together. And so that's what we'll see in the activity. Also, we're going to create a SQL database. And so in this application, we're going to create a login screen and a registration screen. And so we're going to have the user uh, accounts saved in a table in a SQL database. So we'll use a SQL setup, create a table, and then communicate with that using SQL commands. Also, we're going to talk about validation. So you can see on this screen here, we have a screen that says, uh, we're gonna make an appointment. And the validation example here shows that there are certain rules about what you can put in each activity or each entry point. So some things allow numbers, some things allow text, sometimes there's a limit to the numbers, and so that's what we'll see on our activity. Now the milestone is going to be a follow-up to this. So in this section, or this topic of the course, we're going to introduce milestone one. So throughout the semester, we're going to be building the uh, Minesweeper application. And so it's going to be a web-based version of the game that you should have created in a previous course. So that's level two C Sharp, where we created a Minesweeper for Windows. Now this is going to take that same logic, the board and the cell classes, and we're going to import them into our web, de web development version. And so it'll be the same rules of the game, but using a different front end. So what do we want to do for this version of the milestone? So what we're going to make is nothing to do with, with Minesweeper at all in, in this milestone. All it is is a data entry form to capture who the user is. So the registration screen has a bunch of stuff in it, such as the name, sex, age, state, uh, email, and username, and things like that. And we're going to post that into a controller to receive the data. We'll validate the data and then save it into a database. Then the next step, of course, after you've registered, is to be able to log in. And so we'll have a login form. The login form only requires two things, the username and password. And we have to verify that that actually exists. It's a registered user. And then we can begin the game. So there's no game to play yet, just the registration and login screen. And that will be milestone number one. Also, make sure that you're doing the scrum planning exercises for each of these milestones. So you and a partner are going to work together and create the application. So maybe one of you is going to work on the registration page. Maybe the other one's going to do the login page. You get to split up the work. Maybe you get to do all of it and your partner does nothing. But we want to document how that goes. So there is a burn down chart that we use to estimate how many hours we're going to spend in the two week sprint and how much you actually did spend. And when you're done, you should see that your progress matched what you planned, or at least reasonably close. So take a list of what you have to do and have a daily meeting, see how you're doing with your partner, see if there's any problems. And that way, the earlier you catch the problems, the more successful you will be. And so that's what we're going to do here in topic number two.